Hello everybody here and on the inter interwebs. Uh, my name is Sander van Geloven and I'm going to talk to, to you about uh, NewSpell. Uh, NewSpell is a spell checker. It's a uh, FOSS, of course. Uh, it uh, consists of a library and a command line tool and it's uh, solely written in C++. Uh, the team currently exists of uh, Dimitri and me. And we worked the main part of 2018 on creating this uh, new spell checker. Spell checking is not trivial. Most people think, ah, just a word list and you look for a word. It's much more than that. Uh, uh, depends a large part on the language you're using. Uh, it uses a lot of case conversion, affixing, compounding, and suggestions is a whole different ball game altogether. So in the last... Uh, the decades we had spell, I spell, a spell, my spell, hun spell, and now finally we have new spell. If I want to know more about spell checking uh, in detail, you can uh, rewatch my presentation from a few years back. Uh, the goals of our uh, project were to be a drop in replacement for web browsers, office suits, and all other applications that use uh, spell checking. Uh, that's backwards compatible with uh, MySpell and Huntspell dictionaries. Uh, the main new th features would be that it would be much easier to maintain, extend, have less dependencies, have maximum port portability, and to be a lot quicker, especially on the suggestions part. Um, so what sort of... Uh, features does such a spell checking have. Uh, a lot of character encodings have to be supported. Most of software works with UTF-8 Unicode, but there's a lot of ancient stuff around uh, which also needs to be supported. Uh, compounding and affixing, it depends a lot on the language you use, if that's important or not. For example, German and Dutch, you use this a lot. And uh, next to suggestions, personal dictionaries, sort of the usual stuff. It should also support the uh, 90 dictionaries which are currently available and used all over the world. And if you think you can support one dictionary, it doesn't mean you support the next one. So in order to do this project, we uh, applied for a grant at uh, Mozilla. And they uh, gladly uh, gave us one. I also want to thank Mozilla for doing that, especially... Uh, Gurf, who's no longer with us, and uh, Mian. Uh, at the end of this project, we did a verification with Huntspell, how good our uh, library is performing. And it's almost exactly the same, as you can see by the numbers. And it's already a lot quicker, even though we didn't do any new ways of optimization, only then porting it to a pure C++ implementation. Uh, on the suggestions part, it's already a lot quicker. And this was only the first step in this project of ours, and we want to make these numbers go up a lot more. <clears throat> so spell checking, as I said, is not so easy. Uh, we'll not go into the details here, but these are sort of the things you have to consider when you're implementing a spell checker. Uh, to uh, explain it would take like a few hours. And to give just a short example of uh, one of the troubles you can get yourself into is uh, simple stuff like uh, too upper or too lower if you do case conversion. And uh, you can see, for example, for Turkish language, and Greek, German, Dutch, that is not so uh, trivial as you might expect. So to explain a bit more on the suggestions part, which is... Uh, a bit easier than the spell checking part. Is, uh, it used to be a black box for most people, so uh, here is the secret how we do it. We start with uh, a replacement table with a lot of known uh, typos in, uh, for example, diacritics. Then we use a mapping table for uh, sort of groups of characters which might be used incorrectly. Uh, characters have been typed extra, keyboard mishaps because of fat fingers, uh, characters which are really not in the language at all. Then uh, we also check for forgotten characters and we do some phonetic mapping. Suppose you're 
Uh, your mother tongue is another language and you think you write it like that. We can also detect these kind of errors. And this is how the spelling suggestions are being uh, cooked up and then presented to you. If you want to do that yourself, use our library. It's fairly easy. This is in the C++. What you need to do in order to uh, initialize new spell. Uh, the first one, it looks your system, it searches your system, any system, uh, Linux, Mac OS, Windows, where your dictionaries are installed. Um, and there's a, like a lot of places where these can be found. Use the dictionaries installed by some packages, installed in the system level, and so on. But using it is a bit more easy. So if you want to use a spell checker, this is all you have to do. Just feed a word into the spell function and it will give true or false. And if you want to get suggestions, you use the suggest method. So where can you use that stuff? Well, currently, uh, we use the uh, uh, the G++ and the Clang compiler. And we're also going to support the MingW and some backporting to uh, the older uh, C++ compilers. And that, go back to this one. The dependencies these uh, compilation projects uh, need are very minimal. We use only these three. And eventually we might even throw out the boost local to have really, really a, a minimal amount of uh, dependencies. This is uh, already much less than, for example, the other spell checkers are using, which makes it uh, very portable, of course. Uh, in order to develop new spell, we use this, uh, these tools. I'm not going to go into all of them. It's a fairly common bunch of uh, tooling. What is uh, interesting in our project is that we use the profiling in order to find where the bottlenecks were in the processing. And it turned out that we found some stuff which we did not expect and we, like, we gained a lot of uh, performance increasing there. Especially in the regular expressions we used, uh, we used uh, boost regex methods. Uh, the regex we use are fairly simple but because the regex support is so wide, even though if you use a simple one, you can still run into a lot of uh, CPU consumption. So what we did is we implemented our own uh, regex method for the only functionality we needed, and it gained a lot of performance increase there. Uh, another one I can recommend is uh, code coverage reporting. It will uh, see what kind of code you uh, did not test yet, and will give you back uh, some surprises sometimes, which only makes stuff better. So for... Um, 2019, 2020, we uh, plan to make a next version. Uh, of course, we want to do much more performance increasing. The, we do, do that with a different data structure, which is underlying, but also uh, by concurrency and also increasing the uh, quality of the suggestions. Uh, just a quick show of hands. Who saw suggestions in spell checking of which they thought like, hmm, is this what I want? Did people get suggestions which are like, yes, this is the ones I do want? Probably also. Now, in order to move up the ones you do want and move down the other ones you maybe don't, don't, don't want, we have to, we're going to uh, add some functionality in order to uh, make you more happy with the suggestions you're going to get. Uh, some other stuff we're going to do is like uh, migrate to uh, CMake build system and make it more available, because now it's in our development environment. We can build it, everybody can build it, but in order to really install it as a package on your distribution, some more work has to be done, and therefore at FOSDEM, we're gonna see uh, if our people are interested in helping us out, because we would like to port to these platforms and packages, and also add these language bindings in order to everybody uh, enable using new spell. Uh, some other stuff we should like to uh, mention on new spell is that on the way we encountered a lot of bugs which were in the dictionaries and word lists we used and in, we need to 
either catch them in an exception or fix them, and it took a lot of time to fix that. Uh, then uh, we uh, also encountered that it's very difficult to test for incorrect words because there's a lot of word lists with correct words, but not with incorrect words and good suggestions. So if you might have a list of those for your language, please submit this, submit this to our project and we can uh, improve our testing processes. Um, if you're in charge of uh, an IDE, a text editor, office suite, web browser, and you would like to support uh, using Newspell, also drop us a line. Uh, or even join our team if you're interested in <coughs> spell checking. At the moment, we're only two people. Uh, it's uh, complex work on one part. Uh, it's very deep in the system. Most people have no idea where spell, spell checking resides and how it's done. But it's very interesting uh, to, uh, to work on this and uh, improve people's writing, especially in an IT world. You might think that, oh, is this a correct word or is this spelled correctly? And with better spell checking, uh, we can all help write better texts. So, this is a lightning talk, so it's going to be very fast. I'd like to thank uh, my teammate uh, Dimitri for all the good work he did. Uh, also, again, to thank Mozilla for the support they give. Uh, thank you for listening. And um, if you have any questions, I will gladly answer them. Yeah? When do you plan the release of the next session with uh, these uh, new features? Ah, so when we plan to uh, release the next version with the new features, uh, yeah, this year somewhere. This year, 2019. Okay. <laughs> yes? Does Nufel uh, currently support uh, XML spell checking? Uh, question is if uh, Nuspell supports XML and HTML, HTML checking. Well, it supports plain text spell checking, so it can uh, tokenize a sentence and get all the words out and do spell checking on the different words, but only on plain text. So if you're using uh, HTML, LaTeX, whatever, uh, you, as sort of the editor from which you're going to start the spell checking, have to break down this data structure into separate words and feed the words individually or the sentences individually to the spell checker. We're not going to support all sorts of data formats in order to get the text out that's sort of beyond the scope of the spell checking. But good question. Okay, thank you very much and enjoy FOSDEM. Mm -hmm.